सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ सीजीआई एंड वीएफएक्स एडवर्टाइजिंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लेंडर एंड सेकंड वन गाइस एफ स्पाय ऐड ऑन सी गाइस दैट्स माय रियली कूल एनिमेशन सो फर्स्टली गाइस दैट्स माय क्लोड डायनेमिक एनिमेशन एंड सेकंड वन गाइस दैट्स माय लाइक अ ओरियो बिस्किट एनिमेशन ओनली आई क्रिएट रोटेशन इफेक्ट राइट Okay, so guys, now it's really simple. So guys, I will teach you how to create this type of effect. So guys, select all and press delete key. So next one, guys, I use F Spy add-on. This one. See, guys, that's my F Spy. And guys, import your image. Guys, you can download this image. Link in description. So simple, drag and drop like this, right? And guys, change vanishing point. So second one, guys, I like Z. and go to on here guys see that's my second one blue it's my vertical so guys holding shift key and create shape like this this one and position change right and go to on here position change little bit yes and guys next one and guys next one select this red line so guys create apply on here corner to corner guys create like a perspective effect perspective yes right it's really simple and now guys go to on 3d grid so guys grid x y grid check and guys apply like this yes see guys that's my flow right it's simple and now guys save your project go to on file and save so like a file new and guys go to on save so guys go to on blender and import fspy file so here see guys that's my file and import yes right and guys now firstly i apply plane so plane size increase right and that's my plane size and guys little bit up because that's my flow and up like this Yes, right. And now, guys, I create rough layout for this building. So I use this time cube, and guys up. So position change like this. So guys, go to on here edit mode. Select this one transparent. So guys, position change here, right. So guys, select this word text and go to on top. Yeah, and go to on. down bottom vertex and go to down like this and guys now next one i increase this one that's my thickness so guys press zero camera and thickness back yes that's my thickness okay so guys now next one i create shape like this simple so guys go to on this one that's my edge so guys select this one edge and right click loop cut and enter so guys go to on up like this right and one more time guys little bit more little bit yes so guys select this one edge right click loop cut enter so guys position change that's my loop and guys now next one go to on here so guys select this one shape like this and right click guys use extrude along normals and increase shape like this and guys now little bit change so guys down yes good see guys that's my rough layout and press s letter scale size change and up yeah great okay so guys see that's my rough layout simple and now guys i create this one shape so guys select and edit mode select edge and right click same loop cut enter select this one and guys enter go to on up and guys select this one loop cut enter yes right and guys select this edge so face select and same right click guys extrude face extrude like this so guys go to on camera and guys down yeah great see guys that's my simple building rough layout so now next one so guys 
I increase this size height. So guys, select this building and press burn. So go to on here. So guys, select this one, edge and down like this. Yes, good. Okay, so guys, my building is perfect. And next one, guys, most important part. So guys, select this building and go to an object origin set origin and origin to geometry check guys that's most important part origin to geometry check so now next one guys i create cloth effect so guys change this one and guys i take plane so plane size increase that's my cloth so guys press 7 it's my top view panel yes and increase height yes good so guys up it's my plane and next one guys i apply subdivision surface so guys go to an edit mode and right click subdivision surface so guys number of cut i like 40 enter yeah and guys next one go to on here apply lines so guys for more smoothness i apply subdivision surface this one subdivision surface and guys number i like two and two and next one i apply cloth tag so guys select and cloth apply guys increase quality i like eight is good eight quality increase and guys go to on here guys see that's my catch it guys frame i like 500 500 check and 500 yes so guys go to on here collision and quality i like five yes and distance guys distance increase i like distance 0 0.1 enter and self collision check yes that's it guys that's my simple cloth setting so guys select this building and apply collision so guys select this flow and apply collision yes so guys play okay so guys it's take lots of time because that's my heavy effect so stop and go to unback so guys next one I create thickness little bit three thickness so go to on here and I apply this same solidifier so guys it's too much so create half thickness I like 0 0.005 enter yeah and offset I like one yes good so guys this time lastly I apply one more time this time subdivision surface and uh, yeah all is good right See guys, that's my solidifier and go to on here, subdivision surface and now guys, I create baking. So guys, select this one cloth and go to on here. So guys, bake all dynamic, this one bake all check. Guys, take lots of time. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished and now guys, back. So play. Guys, it's heavy effect. Yeah, see guys, that's my really cool smoothness cloth dynamic animation, right? It's really good. And guys, stop. So right click shade smoother. Yes. Okay. So guys, my cloth dynamic animation is finished. It's looking really beautiful, right? And guys, now next one, I apply this time texture. So go to on here shading. So guys, select your plane and select this plane. So create new material. So I like this time press control T and guys import your texture like this. Yes. See guys, that's my texture, right? And guys roughness, little bit change like a 0 0.4 and go to back. Yes. Okay. So guys now next one, this time I apply this time object product. So guys go to on file up and guys, I have Oreo biscuit select and guys select this collection and append yes so guys drag and drop see guys that's my biscuit so guys i increase size size increase like a 0 0.4 0 0.03 0 0.03 yes so guys i will change position and guys could press one and three so guys little bit change this time position like this yes right see guys that's my plane flow 
this one that's my plane flow so guys little bit change select this one and guys z position yeah good okay so guys now press zero and rotation also change and z1 change like this yes okay so now guys i create rotation animation so rotation so guys go to like a 200 frames 200 frame check and guys rotation i create rotation like this this one and guys press zero and check so guys go to last so rotation change like a 1080 and the check so guys select this key and press t and use liner yeah right okay so guys i will change this time position and position go to back out of frame yes out of frame yeah and guys see that's my position this one i create position like this so go to on here like a six and check so guys go to last like a 500 frames and change position like this yeah like a minus seven and check yes right and guys now play see guys that's my first effect first cloth dynamic animation and guys after 200 frames okay so guys i will change this time this one frame so guys select this one and change position like a 200 frames yes and again go to back and play yeah see guys that's my first animation is cloth dynamic animation cloth and like a banner and second one guys basket product okay so guys that's not correct so stop so guys go to 200 frames and guys last so guys rotation i like minus 1080 and check yes go to back so again select this key and press t liner and liner check and again play yeah see guys that's my simple rotation effect right it's looking really good that's my product okay so guys now next one you can apply more oreo biscuits so stop and go to back so guys select this basket select like a select hierarchy so press ctrl c and v and go to on here so guys go to back little bit back and guys only change position like a 200 frames position change like a, this one select this one and guys only change keys so guys again press ctrl c and v go to on here yes so guys select third one and position key check yes so guys again i take more biscuits so select this one and go to back and position change and guys select this one and position check yes that's it guys okay so guys my work is finished and guys now next one i apply lighting so use simple environment texture and guys apply texture hdri texture depend on your project so import and guys lastly i apply this time light sunlight so guys go to an up and back so guys little bit rotate like this and guys up so guys select this sunlight and change this time okay so guys i will change render setting cycle render divide gpu check and sam 256 is good for me so go to on here fill and transparent check color management i like standard yes okay so guys again select this sunlight and power like a one is good strength one angle like a 20 yeah press zero and guys i show you my one frame render so go to on here render and render image check okay so guys now also guys i will change this time i apply shadow catcher on building on flow so guys close so guys go to back and guys this time select this building so i apply this time shadow catcher visibility shadow catcher check 
select this flow and shadow catcher check yes so guys now again go to on here and guys i show you my only render like this so guys go to on render and render image check okay so guys my one frame render is finished so guys close and go to on compositing and use node check so i apply texture so guys image texture apply same clip actually texture image viewer check and lastly guys i apply alpha over check so guys connect to image to image and alpha over connect to viewer yes see guys that's my composition right okay so guys now you can change also thickness this one and guys go to on here select this flow so guys go to on here and guys select this flow go to back guys see that's my delete big check so guys you can change only thickness so guys select this flow and see guys that's my thickness and inner thickness like a half 0.1 and like a 0.01 yes that's it guys right okay so guys my work is finished that's my final work final animation and again guys select this cloth and guys lastly bake all dynamic check okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you